The first thing to do when solving a polynomial inequality is to get 0 on one side. So here we need to subtract 2x squared and 12x from both sides. So what we want to do is we want to make a number line and classify it everywhere where this polynomial is 0, positive, and negative. The first step is to find the zeros of this. So let's factor it in order to find the zeros. We can take a 2x out of each term. So here we're left with x squared minus x minus 6. And next we can factor this. This factors as x minus 3 times x plus 2. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find out the values that make this 0 and plot them on a number line. 2x is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0. x minus 3 is equal to 0 if x is equal to 3. And x plus 2 is equal to 0 if x is equal to negative 2. So we plot these three values on the number line for this function. Above each of these numbers, I'm going to put a 0, and that's going to indicate that the function is 0 at those places. Okay, so the zeros take the number line and break it up into pieces. So what we want to do is on each piece, choose a value that's our test value. So something less than negative 2 is negative 3. Something in between negative 2 and 0 is negative 1. Something in between 0 and 3 is 1. And something greater than 3 is 4. Okay, so these, three gu these four guys are our test values. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this negative 3 and plug it into the function to see if we get a positive number or a negative number. We get 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. And negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So negative 6 times negative 6 times negative 1 is a negative number. It's equal to negative 36. So we put a negative here. Next we take negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. Negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. So we have a negative times a negative times a positive, And the net is a positive number. Next we plug in 1. 2 times 1 is 2. two uh, I'm sorry, so 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And 1 plus 2 is 3. So we have 2 times negative 2 times 3. That's a negative number. And finally, we use 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 4 minus 3 is 1. 4 plus 2 is 6. 8 times 1 times 6 is a positive number. So we've now classified everywhere that this polynomial is positive, negative, and 0. So we're ready to write down the answer to the inequality. We want to find out where this is greater than or equal to 0. Greater than 0 means positive, so we want to find out where this is either positive or equal to 0. We see that at negative 2 it's 0, then it's positive, then it's 0. So from negative 2 to 0, we have solutions to the inequality. And we include negative 2 in 0 because this allows for it to be equal to 0. And then we say from 3 to infinity, it's positive. And we also include 3 because it's allowed to be 0. So union 3 comma infinity. So these are all of the values of x where 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus 12x is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, I'm going to give you one to try. Okay, press pause while you work on this. 
Okay, so for your zeros, you should have gotten 0, 2, and 6. And for your sign chart, you should have gotten negative, positive, negative, positive. This is the solution you should have gotten to the inequality. Because between 0, so we want to know where this is greater than 0, and that means positive. Between 0 and 2, it's positive. But we exclude 0 and exclude 2 because this doesn't allow it to be equal to 0. So we have the open interval. And then from 6 to infinity, it's positive as well. So again, we throw out 6 because this doesn't allow it to be equal to 0.